Good morning, dear students. Welcome to this uh, session on pre-stressed concrete. We are discussing uh, unit three of your syllabus, uh, where the loss of uh, pre-stress is the unit three content. And uh, we have started discussing in the last session regarding uh, the types of losses based on uh, two criteria. Uh, one is uh, uh, the based on uh, uh, whether it is uh, immediate or uh, time dependent and the other one the type of member whether it is uh, pre-tensioned or post-tensioned so we have in total there are uh, six uh, number of uh, losses uh, which are uh, predominant in uh, the pre-stressed concrete member so one is uh, elastic shortening of concrete can cause loss of pre-stress shrinkage of concrete can cause loss of uh, pre-stress similarly creep of concrete can cause loss of pre-stress and relaxation of uh, steel also can cause loss of pre-stress slip in anchorage and frictional loss so there are six uh, losses that are present in pre-stressed concrete and uh, that we have talked about uh, and categorized based on uh, the whether it is immediate or time dependent so creep shrinkage relaxation all these are time dependent they, they occur over a period of time Whereas elastic shortening and frictional loss, anchorage slip are very immediate losses. Okay. And based on type of member, the uh, pre tensioning and post tensioning members, if you see, uh, pre tensioning, there are only four types of losses out of six, four present here, like uh, uh, elastic uh, deformation of concrete due to elastic shortening and relaxation of steel, shrinkage, creep. Because there won't be any friction and there won't be any anchorage slip in pre-tensioning members. So pre-tensioning process doesn't involve any friction between steel and concrete or uh, steel and any other material. Okay, So that is absent and also there won't be any anchorage device will be used uh, in pretensioning devices uh, 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 to you know when the transferring of pre stress is happening uh, only in post tensioning we'll have uh, anchorage uh, devices so that will cause slip in anchorage device that is present in post tension so four types of stress uh, i mean uh, pre pre stress loss of pre stress happens in pre tensioning and uh, there are six types of uh, losses occur uh, in post tensioning out of which one is optional i mean uh, depending on uh, whether uh, the jacking is happening uh, for all the tendons at a time simultaneous or successive so if it is simultaneous loss will be zero uh, only five will be present if it is simultaneous i mean successive one after the other uh, then you will have uh, loss due to elastic uh, deformation of palm right so this is about uh, the uh, things that we have uh, you know, studied uh, till the last session so this session will talk about uh, uh, how to calculate uh, loss of pre-stress due to elastic uh, shortening or elastic deformation of concrete okay so let us uh, first uh, now uh, see how to calculate for pre-tensioning members and how to calculate for post-tensioning members okay right so the, the basic nature of this loss elastic shortening of concrete is the type of loss so basic uh, uh, nature of this uh, loss is this occurs when when it happens when the pre-stressing tendons are released 
from tensioning devices then the loss will occur uh, the concrete uh, to be compressed okay so when uh, you are releasing the tendons from devices tensioning devices then this loss is expected okay so this is proportional to the modular ratio and initial stress in the concrete so that is the nature of this uh, uh, loss uh, like uh, you know, elastic shortening of concrete happens when it happens and uh, it, the the parameters it will it is depending on it depends on modular ratio so if the modular ratio is high loss is also high the initial stress is high modular ratio i mean loss is also high okay so both the modular ratio i mean alpha okay modular ratio and the initial stress okay it depends on both these parameters and which is proportional okay and when this loss happens this loss happens when pre stressing tendons are released from tensioning devices okay right so now coming to you know, pre tensioning members okay how to calculate loss of pre stress so loss of pre stress in the tendons at transfer shall be calculated based on modular ratio using the stress in the adjacent concrete okay so see if you have a concrete uh, member which is pre tensioned pre tensioned okay imagine that the tendon is here tendon is here okay right now calculate the stress in the concrete at this level of steel wherever steel is there at that level calculate the stress in concrete okay at this level then multiply with modular ratio that will give you, you now the uh, loss of pre stress value that is what is uh, the basis for this calculation okay so it is based on the stress adjacent to the concrete okay that is what is the basis for this calculation okay so it is purely depending on the modular ratio and initial uh, stress in the concrete okay right next uh, the post tensioned members okay so this this is available in the class 19.5.2.4 all this uh, point uh, a b both are available in the is code 1343-2012 uh, what to be calculated uh, and how to be calculated uh, how do we calculate the elastic shortening of concrete loss okay right for post tensioned uh, members you have two cases right as we said uh, one is like it may have zero loss and it will have a value right when the zero loss happens when all the tendons are jocking at a time jocked at a time I mean all the tendons are pulled in the same time the same time simultaneously okay then the loss is zero okay right so for members uh, with post tensioned uh, tendons which are not stressed simultaneously not stressed simultaneously means what successive okay successive tensioning means one after the other successive tensioning so there is a progressive loss of pre stress during transfer due to the gradual application of pre stressing forces so imagine that you have a uh, post tensioned member okay right so you have some uh, tendons like this some two or three tendons placed here like one two 
three like say tendon one first uh, no we we place the tendon in a duct one and we pull it okay that is first uh, no uh, tendon is uh, tensioned then we anchor it then we go for the second one so when you uh, pull the tendon two number two then the stress will be lost in one okay so that is what is because when you are pulling the tendon two already tendon one is pulled and you have some stress in it so because of pulling of uh, second one the first one will be compressed the concrete will be compressed so that the loss will occur in one okay now when the number two is pulled okay and uh, anchored then coming to number three when you are jacking number three both one and two will have loss of stress okay because they are already tensioned and anchored okay then when you are pulling the third one second and first both will be compressed okay so uh, elastic deformation happens in the concrete and the loss will occur so when you are tensioning the tendons one after the other the loss will occur progressively uh, say when uh, the second tendon is you know pulled in. so there will be loss in first tendon when the third tendon is being pulled there will be loss in first one also second one right so this is how you have to calculate the total loss in the uh, tendons due to uh, elastic shortening okay so the loss of pre stress uh, if you want a uh, now uh, uh, rough calculation not uh, uh, exact uh, calculation so that can be done by this formula half of the product of stress in the concrete adjacent to the tendons averaged along the lengths and the modular ratio means what half of the average stress f average into modular ratio that is alpha so this can be used for a rough calculation when you want exact value you have to uh, do it by uh, taking the sequence of tensioning first one is tension likewise what i discussed just now right so tendon one is pulled uh, the loss is zero tendon two is pulled there will be loss in tendon one then if tendon three is uh, being tensioned again tendon one and two you will have losses okay so like this you have to combine all those losses and give a exact value all right if you don't want the exact value then you go for this calculation half of uh, f average average stress uh, and the modular ratio to be multiplied right so this is how we go for finding the loss of pre stress due to uh, elastic uh, shortening okay right now let us see the formula uh, for uh, the finding a uh, loss of stress in uh, steel pre stressing uh, uh, due to uh, steel corresponding to uh, and the loss of stress in uh, uh, concrete corresponding loss in concrete okay right so an example for uh, a pre tensioned concrete beam 100 mm wide 300 mm deep He is pre stressed by straight wires carrying an initial force of 150 kN p value at an eccentricity of 50 mm 50 mm 
the modulus of elasticity of steel and concrete are 210 and 35 this is for finding the modular ratio es by ec that means uh, 210 divided by 35 Young's modulus of steel divided by Young's modulus of concrete will be the modular ratio. Okay, so alpha E value, right? Then cross-sectional area of concrete, I value B H Q by 12, all are to be calculated. Okay, I mean uh, 100 into uh, 300 cube divided by 12. B H Q by 12 will give you I value. Okay. Next, estimate the percentage of loss of stress in steel due to elastic deformation of concrete if the area of steel is 188 mm square. Okay. Right. So initial stress in the steel when there is no loss is happening. So what is force value 150 kilonewton? Right. 150. What is the area? One eighty-eight mm square. So P by A is this much. So eight hundred, according to the hydraulic jock reading, uh, you have applied one fifty kilonewton force onto the tendon, and the tendon area is one eighty-eight mm square. So you are expecting that eight hundred newton per mm square will be there in the steel. Okay, but because of Elastic shortening of concrete, uh, the stress will not be 800 after this loss. The uh, stress will be lost uh, in uh, steel, and it will be less than 800. That we will see now. Okay, now estimate stress in concrete. Okay, where at the level of steel, wherever steel is there. Okay, now where is the steel now? Right, steel is at an eccentricity of 50 mm, right? So this is 300 overall. This is 150. So make it into three parts. So here is the tendon location. This is the tendon location. So here I want the stress in concrete. Okay. So how do you calculate? This is like P by A. P by A plus P by A plus P E by Z, okay, okay, right. So what is P? One fifty kilonewton by cross-sectional area of concrete. I mean, hundred uh, by three hundred, right? Uh, P into E into that is. Yam value P into E, okay. Yam value by Z will be expanded. Yam by I into Y, okay. So this is the final form of the formula. So moment is like capital P into E. E is fifty mm. Divided by I value, Y means what distance of the location where you want the stress. That is what is Y. Okay, so where you want the stress, you want at the location of steel itself. Wherever there is steel, you want stress at that level. Okay, so that is why it is fifty. Okay, right. that value is six point six six newton per mm square. Now, uh, formula for loss of stress due to elastic uh, deformation is simply multiply modular ratio and the stress. Okay, modular ratio is what? E S by E C. That is six. Alpha into stress in the concrete at the level of steel will give you uh, loss of stress in steel. So this much is the loss of stress. Pre stress in steel. Okay, so 40 m, 40 megapascal is lost. What is the percentage 
percentage of loss is 40 divided by 800 will be the uh, into 100. 40 is the last value. Initial is 800. So 40 by 800 into 100 is 5 percent. So 5 percent of the stress is lost due to uh, shortening of concrete. Why the concrete shortens? Because you are applying the stress on concrete. So stress will cause the strain. So that is why the concrete will uh, be shortened. Okay, so that uh, will cause uh, concrete is shortened means steel is also shortened. Okay, so you have pulled the tendon, but uh, the tendon has come back uh, to its, you know, some position to, to some extent it has come back. So that is a loss. Okay, that is five percent. Okay, so that is how the elastic uh, shortening affects the uh, stress value. So. What is the final stress present in the steel? 800 minus 40. So 760 megapascal is only the remaining value of the stress present in the steel. Okay. Right. So 760 is only the effective stress present in the steel. Okay. So that 760 will be transferred to the concrete, okay? Not 800. You have created 800, but out of 800, 40 is lost, okay? Only 760 is going to the concrete. So when you consider all other losses also, then we will see what is the final value, what is effective. Uh, that is called effective stress. After all losses, what is the effective pre-stress which is transferred to the concrete that we will know okay so we are now talking about only one type of uh, loss so we are uh, yet to discuss uh, remaining five types of losses okay right so this is uh, very simple to calculate just get the value of stress at the level of steel in concrete multiply with modular ratio that will give you the last one okay that's it very simple and uh, if you want percentage uh, you get the initial pre-stress value that will give you the percentage of uh, loss in stress okay right so this is about the loss of pre-stress uh, due to elastic shortening of concrete okay right. we'll discuss much more uh, examples in the further sessions okay Right.